Here's what you missed last weekend in the world of real estate. Since Friday, the news cycle has been dominated by Silicon Valley Bank's collapse and fears of a cascading banking crisis. Check out our latest TRD Explains for more on how that's impacted industry lenders like Signature Bank. But financial fears weren't the only news last week. Commercial real estate isn't the only sector struggling to get back on its feet. Residential real estate is also suffering from a malaise after its pandemic-induced sugar high has been stifled by rising interest rates and limited inventory. To prepare for frigid economic conditions, Chicago-based app properties Christie's International Real Estate confirmed that it's tacking on an agent services fee of 1% of gross commission income. Co-CEO Thad Wong believes the move will help stabilize his firm during uncertain market conditions. Luxury assets, however, have enough insulation to keep warm. In Palm Beach, Catherine Adams Limbaugh, the widow of late conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh, sold their longtime oceanfront compound for $144 million in an unlisted transaction. In New York, another duplex at Gary Barnett's Central Park Tower Super Tall hit the market with a big ask. The 12,500 square foot penthouse on the 107th and 108th floors at 217 West 57th Street listed for an eye-watering $175 million. And in Washington, D.C., a property formed through the combination of three houses, one of which was home to former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, is up for sale for $26.5 million. The late David W. Hudgens acquired the three homes over two decades, eventually combining them into an Overmeyer Architects Design 16,300 square foot 13 bedroom mansion. For more headline real estate news, subscribe to TheRealDeal.com and follow us at The Real Deal.